So you guys were one. I'm hearing all you guys. You guys were one of the theme song shortened. So here we go. This girl reviews movies, games, and books. Sometimes she plays them. So does that. And when she does it with the cat, does that make her crazy? Does that make her crazy? Probably. <laughs> so, it's shorter. There you go. <laughs> Crazy Cat Lady Gamer Reviewer, or Martha Butler, does not own the any trailers or pictures. I use them under fair use. Educational for edu and entertainment purposes. Hi everybody, Martha here. So this is probably the last video I do for today. Um, this one probably won't come out for it until um, tomorrow anyway for, for um, Friday. But my camera's music charge, so I'm doing this on um, computer camera instead. So. Jim Patrol's last episode of season two, season nine, Wasks Patrol, because since season ten, didn't get filmed. Darn! Came and look up the title, his name. Where? What are we called? So uh, they didn't get a chance to like, put pictures on it. So yeah. So I don't know if we're gonna have to find out what happens next for the next episode as far as we i don't i think the last show that i would have to deal with it's like this unless um umbrella on the, the umbrella academy which i'm watching season t one of and i'm also after that i watch season two they don't even just filming their episodes but so this last episode is um Finally, since um, episode one, the, all the characters are going to be um, together. They're going to go and try to save Dorothy. Um, from unleashing the candle maker guy. And at first, Cliff didn't want to go because he wanted to go to his daughter's wedding, but he lost that battle. Larry decided to be take Lear after, um, the big spider, um, friend, um, legendary friend came to warn them that Candlemaker is trying to turn the world into wax, basically. And, I guess in the background we're, like, learning, we're still learning about what's going on with, um, Jane after, um, she, after, um, Kay left, um, her dad's farm. She, um, got a job, then she met, uh, and I guess this is like during the 60s, because um, she met a hippie guy, and she ends up being with him as Randa, and we learn how Jane was born, so I don't know if I can explain how Jane was born, because, man, we have another scene here that I don't know if it's appropriate to talk about on face on YouTube, but since I don't have enough supports where I uh, get a supporter, so it was in our inappropriate scene that if you watched the episode you would know. I'm just I'm afraid to say it because I would get in trouble on YouTube, so they just had a lot of it in it. So let's go with that. Hopefully I won't get in trouble because I'm not, I didn't say the S word. <laughs> and I don't mean the I mean the three letter word S word, not the four letter S word. <laughs> so yeah. Um and apparently all that created Jane. So now we know how Jane was created for um Kane, how she came the new primary um personality for um um for K. So and I guess we learned that the one who's trying to take over Kay's body now is not Miranda. We don't learn who that is, but I have a feeling that... I don't know. 
I doubt him because I don't think she has a personality that's performed for father. You know, she did show him that he was around, but I don't know why he would want to take control like this. So, yeah, I don't know. That's just a little theory I had. So, and when they get to the fairgrounds, we find out that Kipling is like being tormented by a little puppet that has a knife because apparently Candlemaker is bringing out people's um, imaginary friends and have them fight them because um, Rita sees um, his, her imaginary friend, which is a paper doll, and um, the. Cyclops sees, uh, sees his bad story, for instance, a cowboy. Larry doesn't got it. They never had one. Look, wow. What happened? What kind of childhood did you have? You didn't have a bad story friend, Larry. <laughs> and, um... Cliff had a bad friend, but it was only, only for one summer. I guess he went to Bible, Bible school. And his bad story friend was Jesus. Was Jesus. So, uh, yep, and they all start, um, well, Rita's friend has mostly made her dance, and, um, doctor, the, doc, the cowboy, ha they had a little heart-to-heart -heart talk about, um, Cyclops' girlfriend, um, finding out that she killed somebody, and he needs somebody to talk to, and, um, At first, yeah, um, Cliff's person, um, Cliff's battery friend, because this ain't really Jesus Christ, it's just, um, how he imagined him as, imagine him, and it did tore his arm off, so, but he did, he did talk to him a little bit about, um, the fact that his dad, he's afraid that he is turning out to be his dad. Who did? Um, who was a deadbeat and was never really there for him. And he thought, and his dad said, "I'm gonna be for you there for now." And he bought it because he was six. So, and then he find out that his dad was gonna be a deadbeat again. He's afraid now that he's doing that to his daughter, which he kind of did because now his daughter's like an adult now, and after and he might think it's too late. To go back and be there for his daughter. So, yep. And, but we find out that these aren't really their imaginary friends. These are the candle maker. And he turns them all into wax. He turned Kipling to Max. He turned um, all of them to wax. And uh, Dorothy comes. But Dorothy comes out and finds out and finds her dad on the floor since he can't walk. Still, since he can't walk, since that's why he's in a wheelchair. And she sees like a vision of her mom handing her a boot, and I guess this is like the representative of her coming a an, um a woman for her people. So I put on boots and get a weapon. And fighting um, the candle maker, and that's how. And um, the candle maker comes and takes her away, and that's how we end the episode. Also, we find out that, that we also find out that the one who who's the new primary for K is not Miranda. We don't know who this person is. So yeah, that's the last scene. So this season was pretty good. It's still just as weird as the first season. So, like I said before, when I first watched this show, first watched season one, while back last year, I said this was the weirdest show. I thought, like I said, I thought Lost was the weirdest show. No, this was. And it still is the weirdest show I ever watched because these episodes are crazy. And, man. They don't, and a lot of times they don't make any sense. So, but 
it's more of a character driven show than a um, fighting show because there's not there wasn't only like one scene where they had a fighting um, part in this in this in this season. The rest of it was like character driven and a bunch of um weird villains that don't make sense. Well, yeah, actually, there was two fighting scenes, but yeah. But, I don't know. We don't get to see how this ends because of what's going on in the world. So, they didn't get to film this 10, episode 10. So, I'm not going to judge this season because um, they didn't get to film it. It's not their fault. Um, so, I'm not going to put that into account of my score for this season. So, but this episode, it was okay. I'm gonna give it a um, eight out of ten. I'll give this season a weird, also an eight out of ten. So I'll see you guys later. Like, share, and subscribe, and bye bye.